Hello, my name is Tiff and I'm wearing spots today. My name's Sarah and I'm in stripes. Today we are going on a looking adventure to visit Canberra Museum and Gallery to see some very special paintings by an Australian artist called Sydney Nolan. These paintings tell a story that happened in Australia. Before we go, we would like to acknowledge the land on which we meet and the traditional custodians, the Ngunnawal people. We would like to pay our respect to Elders past, present and emerging. Ngunnawal country has a big blue sky and lots of big tall trees. The trees in Ngunnawal country are huge. We would also like to acknowledge the traditional custodians of the landscape interpreted in the paintings that we will be exploring today. Look, here's a family of magpies. They are foraging. Magpies are Australian birds. You can find lots of magpies in Ngunnawal country. Did you know the Ngunnawal word for magpie is Kurragang? Maybe when we go to the gallery, we might see a Kurragang in a painting. We are going to take a bus to get there. We're still in Ngunnawal country, but now we're in the city, in the big bustling interchange. Let's hop on a bus and go to Canberra Museum and Gallery to look at some very special paintings. Hooray, we're going on an excursion. Look, there's the bus. I'm so excited. Whee! <laughs> I've got a wombat. I've got a magpie. Hello, bus driver. Our bus driver today is Julia. Wave hello to Julia. Hi, Julia. <laughs> the friendly bus driver puts on her seatbelt. to go to the gallery. <gasps> Off we go. Look, can you see the tram? The people are going to work, but we are on our way to Canberra Museum and Gallery to see a special collection of paintings that will tell you a story. Scooby-Doo's wide awake. But looks like Plop has fallen asleep. Don't miss your stop, Plop! The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. round, and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all day long. The wombat on the bus goes up and down, up and down, up and down. The wombat on the bus goes up and down all day long. All the way to the gallery! <laughs> Here we go! We are nearly there! Can you see the big red sign in the city? Canberra Museum and Gallery is in the middle of the city.
time to hop off the bus now. Wave goodbye to the bus driver. Thank you, Julia. I'm so excited. <laughs> Say. C M A G. C Mag. Canberra Museum and Gallery called C Mag for short. Here we are at C Mag. Oh, look at the shiny floorboards. There's Holly, the friendly museum assistant. Hello, Holly. We're here to see some paintings. Let's go up the stairs to see the paintings by the Australian artist, Sydney Nolan. Walking up the stairs, watch where you are going. Wow, CMAG is an amazing place to visit. Look, here are some works of art. These works were made by children that came to visit the Canberra Museum and Gallery. This exhibition is called the Young Nolan Project. When you come to do a learning program at CMAG, you can make a print, a painting and a collage. Yay, that sounds like fun. Yeah. Here we are finally in the Nolan Collection Gallery, the special exhibition that we have come to see today. All of the works in this gallery are made by the Australian artist, Sydney Nolan. Sydney Nolan loved to tell stories about Ned Kelly. Who was Ned Kelly, Sarah? Ned Kelly was a bushranger who lived a long, long time ago, before your parents were born and even before your grandparents were born. Wow. A bushranger is someone who rides their horse through the bush. As Ned Kelly grew up, he made some bad choices and because of that he was in trouble and always running away from the police who were trying to capture him. The police made some bad choices too. Have you ever made any bad choices? These paintings tell the story of how Ned and his group of friends, the Kelly Gang, were running away and playing hide and seek in the bush. There's Ned on his horse. Ned Kelly and his friends hid inside big black shapes so they could hide and nobody could see who they were. Did you know, Tiff, that Sidney Nolan's grandma was a police officer? He chased Ned Kelly through Wiradjuri country. I love how you can just walk through a gallery and learn all about a place and time and two sides to one story. Hey Sarah, you can learn about the world through works of art. Now it's time to go down to the studio and have a really close look at Sydney Nolan's paintings and play games. Oh, that sounds so fun. <laughs> Here we are in the CMAG studio and we have copies of the paintings we saw upstairs on this easel so that we can get up close and look, look, look at them with our looking eyes. When we come to visit you in the school, we bring these special prints with us to show you because they are copies or reproductions of the real works of art. You can touch them. Hey Sarah, why can't you bring the real paintings to schools? Because there's only one of each painting in the whole world, Tiff. They need to stay safe in the gallery. What might happen to them if we take them out of the gallery? Well, they might get scratched or broken or nibbled at by bugs. Oh, no. No. <laughs> Canberra Museum and Gallery keeps the original paintings safe so that you and I can enjoy them forever. The first painting we will explore today is called Kelly and Horse. Sarah, who is this person with a big square head and circles for eyes? It's Ned Kelly. Oh, that's right. 
He's hiding inside this big black shape. Look at the way Nolan has painted Ned Kelly hiding inside the big black shape. He is wearing a helmet so that he doesn't hurt his head. Do you wear a helmet when you ride your bike? What shape is your helmet? Let's draw the shape of your helmet in the air using our magic drawing fingers. What shape is Ned's helmet? Let's trace the shape of Ned Kelly's helmet with our drawing fingers in the air. Across and down and across and up. Let's play a game of I spy a shape. This is the first shape. It's a big black square. Ooh, okay. I think Ned Kelly's helmet is a big black square. Now I've got two circles. I wonder where you can find two circles in the painting. There they are. It's Ned's eyes. Horse has circles for eyes as well. Tiffany's found some triangles. What are you doing with those, Tiff? <laughs> oh, maybe I'm giving you a clue. <gasps> it's the horse's ears. There they are, <laughs> two triangles. We've got another shape here. And it's a green triangle. Where is it hiding? Ooh, look at the painting. See if you can find it. Up. Oh, there we go. There it is. It's the mountain. It's hiding <laughs> behind the big black shape of Ned Kelly. Now here's another shape. Can you tell me what this shape is? I bet you know. It's Australia, the map of Australia. This is where Ned and his friend rode their horses over the hill and far away, a long, long time ago, over here in Wiradjuri country. A long time ago, it was called Kelly country, but we know that this country where Ned Kelly and his friends rode their horses was and always will be Wiradjuri country. The landscape that is depicted in these paintings is an interpretation of Wiradjuri country that extends all the way down to Victoria and the lands that were home to the people of the Woiwurrung, Tungurong and Wavaru language groups. Before we go and have a look at another painting, Let's all stand up and stretch our legs. Oh, oh, that's better. And pretend to be Ned. Hop on your horse and ride on the spot. Clippity clop, clippity clop. Nay! Woohoo! <laughs> look, look, look with your looking eyes at this painting. Everybody put your artist glasses on. Who is this person? What is this person wearing? There's a big blue jacket with brass buttons and black boots. Tiff, I think it's a uniform. Wow, I think it is. Did you know that this is a police uniform from a long time ago? Can you guess who this person might be? It's a police officer. Sarah, I wonder why he's upside down. He's hiding from Ned Kelly in a wombat burrow. Oh, that's funny. What else can we see in this painting, Tiff? I can see a magpie. Hello, magpie. Hello, cuddle gang. There's a lizard, a bunbarung. Watch out for his sharp teeth. <gasps> There's our friend the wombat. Ah, and a letter. Some pink trees. <gasps> 
flowers. Look at all the flowers and leaves. We have a wombat burrow right here and now we're going to play wombat burrow game. Hmm, I'm having a look for something small and it's really smooth. Tiffany, can you guess what it is? Oh, is it something in the painting? It is something in the painting. Okay, let's have a look. Uh, round and small and smooth. It might be one of the police officer's buttons, maybe. What do you think? Yep. Ah, oh, right. <laughs> ah, it's the police officer's buttons. All right, try again. It's hollow and it's a bit rubbery. Oh, hmm, I don't know. Um, is it the police officer's boots? It is. Oh, <laughs> Ooh, what does it feel like, it's Sarah? It's really spiky and oh. it's wriggling around and it's quite tiny. Oh. It's there. It's on the ground. Is it a lizard? It is. Oh, <laughs> it's a lizard. Okay, let's do another one. Okay. Are you ready? Mm hmm Okay. <gasps> it's a magpie. Hello, magpie. It's our friend magpie. Hello. <laughs> oh, it's so nice and fluffy. Fluffy. I wonder yes. what it is. Mm. Really furry. And he's got a wet nose. <gasps> is it Wombat? It's Wombat. Oh, Here look. he is. Hello, Wombat. Hello, Wombat. We've got a song about you. Wombat, Wombat, big and slow. Digging with her fingers, digging with her toes. Digging when it's raining, digging when it's fine. Dig, dig, digging in the hot sunshine. This painting is called Steve Hart, and Steve was one of Ned Kelly's best friends. Steve is wearing a dress. It has lots and lots of spots. Steve is in disguise because he's hiding in the bush. Have you ever dressed up and pretended to be somebody else? I love dress ups. Me too. Here's another painting. Look. It looks like there's two Neds. It's Ned Kelly's friends from the Kelly gang hiding inside their shapes. Look, there's more spots and stripes on the house. There's a spot over here and a spot over there. There's a spot on your ear and a spot in your hair. There are lots of little spots in the air everywhere. It's a spotty kind of day. Yay! Woo! <laughs> Look, there's stripes on this house. And there's stripes in the trees. I can see lots of stripes. There's a stripe over here and a stripe over there. There's a stripe on your ear and a stripe <laughs> on your hair. There's, There's a, a lot, lot of little, little stripes in the air everywhere. It's a stripey kind of day. <laughs> Sydney Nolan loved to make paintings using spots and stripes, as well as different shapes and different colours. for another painting. Who is that person hiding behind the tree? It's Ned and the police officer. They're playing hide and seek. Who 
is hiding behind a big mountain. It's Ned. He looks huge, doesn't he? I wonder what it's like to wear that big square helmet. Let's have a go Ooh. at looking through our very own Ned Kelly helmet. When you hold the mask right up close to your nose, what can you see? Wow, you know, I can still see a lot. I can see the whole painting. Ah, but what about when you hold it as far away from your nose as possible? Wow, I can only see a tiny bit of the painting. Isn't it interesting how you can see a painting in so many different ways? Look at the hill. It's a triangle shaped hill. This is the hill that the artist Sidney Nolan saw in the town of Glen Rowan when he was doing his research for the Ned Kelly story. Look, Sarah, there's the same hill in the distance. Yeah. And that's the story of Ned and his friends, a story that happened in Australia a long time ago. And it happened before you were born, before your parents were born, and even before your grandparents were born. It's a story that happened in Australia a long time ago. It's time to say goodbye. Back through the foyer with the shiny floors. Let's take Ned with us on the bus. That was so much fun. I can't wait to come back to see Mag. Bye everyone. Thank you for coming. <laughs>